Let's simplify and break down how to export a .mp4 video in Adobe Premiere Pro while also understanding what the heck it is we're doing. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro, and this is what I like to call my master sequence. It's, a, it's an assembly of all the edited sequences within my project. So what I like to do to organize things is here's the introduction, part one, part two, part three, and so on, so you get to the end. What I do is compile everything into a master sequence and then export it. So the first step in making sure that your entire video project is exported successfully and that you're not missing any parts is you want to go to the very, very beginning of your project on your timeline and click, or not click, but tap the I keyboard. This will ensure that the program knows where you want to begin your video. Um, of course, you can also go to here for mark in, mark in there. And then to simplify the process even further, Click Shift and O on your keyboard. That's just a keyboard shortcut for going to the uh, very ending of your timeline. Click on the O button after that. Now you have marked where the out point is of your video. So we have our beginning, the in point, and now Shift O, we have our out point, which is the very ending. So now that we have that, let's export our video in a .mp4 video file so that we can upload it to YouTube. So now that we have the entire sequence highlighted from in to out, we know what our beginning and what our end is. Now we need to export it in a .mp4 setting. So what you could do, there are two options that you can take. One option is using the short and easy way, your keyboard shortcuts, by pressing Control M. Adobe Premiere just automatically saved on me, so Control M, and that's also a good thing. You want to automatically save as much as possible. So now we are in the export menu. If you have a Mac, it might be Command M. But now let's go back to the edit option. So here in the top left corner, we have our import, our edit, and our export. Adobe Premiere has changed their interface around so that new editors can easily um, move around and export and edit without being confused as to what's going on in the program. So option two, this is the somewhat longer but not really version. It's just the non-keyboard shortcut version. Everything you have here, just go to export right over here, right next to the edit, click on export. And then here you have your settings and how you wish to export the video, and then you have the export button. So this is what the export settings menu looks like. So here we have our file name. I have it titled master sequence. We're gonna change that just a little bit. Next we have our location. This is an extremely important step in exporting your video because you wanna make sure you know where you are saving this video to on either your computer or your external hard drive. Next we have our preset option. This is pretty much the overall quality and how your video is going to look when the export is finished. So right now I have high quality 1080p HD and I like to use that. I didn't record in 4K, so I'm not gonna worry about high quality 4K video or 480 SD, why, dear God, no, <laughs> or high quality 720. Like, we don't need to worry about any of these options, except for if you wanted to do YouTube 1080p Full HD, feel free to. I just always like to do the high quality 1080p HD because YouTube reads it regardless, because it's, it's 1080p. So click on that, and then the format. See how it says H.264? That's what we want. It's gonna give you a bunch of options, AAC audio, and um, just a bunch of these other options here. I can make another video to give you guys a further explanation on what these different formats mean. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is click on H.264 right here. Not the Blu-ray one, don't click on Blu-ray. H.264 right here. There is the option to do H.265. Videos I've seen on YouTube of people explaining that it's a better process, H.265, and it saves you memory. In my experience, that hasn't very much been the case, so I continue to use H.264. But I can make another video on what H.265 is and how it affects your video quality in the final export. Next is our video setting. So let's click on the arrow here, go down. Your frame size is going to be 1920 by 1080p because we're exporting high quality 1080p HD. So this is the overall resolution, how big the screen is going to be. 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels, full HD. The frame rate I recorded in 29.97 frames per second with my camera. That was also the sequence setting, so that's good frame rate right there. Let's go to audio. We want to um, have it at AAC. That is, yep, keep that setting there. Um, audio codec, AAC, always have the sample rate at 48 kilohertz unless you are just literally exporting a CD quality audio file. But yeah, it should always be 48 kilohertz. A uh, channel is stereo, unless you want it mono, but stereo for two channels. Pretty much the most important settings that you need to worry about are the video, 
and the audio. Make sure that these settings are correct from your standpoint, that you have something particularly similar to this, and that your file name is labeled correctly, and that your preset and your format is H.264 1080p. How do I save my video in a place where I can easily access it when trying to upload it to YouTube or anywhere else online? Well, let me show you. So location, let's click on that. I have many different folders in my hard drive, but for example, let's go to my main hard drive. I'm gonna to go to my YouTube export. I created a file for exports. I have so many different YouTube channels, but for this one, let's just say Jeff Makes Films. Um, these are all the videos I've made in the past, and there's more on my other external hard drive. But here we go. Let's just say example video. I'm going to say save. Now I know where it's going to be. It's going to be on this external hard drive in my YouTube folder under exports and under my YouTube channel Jeff Makes Films. I don't have a specific folder dedicated to it in the Jeff Makes Film folder because this is just an example video, but here we go. It's titled Example Video Save. So now when I save and export my video, I know that this, that folder, is where it's going to be when it's fully done. So now the last thing we need to do is just make sure we have all our pieces put together. We can just play this video real quick. Our Halloween franchise, the characters, the story, everything that goes into it, then you definitely don't want to miss out on this. It seems that the endpoint is at the very beginning, which is good. And then if we go all the way down to the export, or not export, the out point setting. And the final thing you need to do is with range, make sure that you have it from source in to out. So pretty much where you put your I on the beginning of the timeline to where you put your O, your out point, on the end of the timeline. So everything from that point is where you are going to be exporting. Unless you want to export the entire sequence without really caring about the end and out point, you can do that. But this is the way we want to do it. And then scaling, always scale to fit your project, guys. <laughs> and then let's export. Our video is now exporting. So I just exported the entire project. And now to find where I saved it to. So I'm going to go to my folders, Jeff Makes Films, da da da. I know I titled it Example Video. I need to look for the E in there. And what do you know? Example video. And the last thing that I'm gonna do for this video that I advise you not do is delete <laughs> because I already have that video saved under another folder. So I hope you guys found this video very helpful. If it provided you value, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Jeff Makes Films for more educational videos on video editing, filmmaking, and sound. And also for movie reviews, because you should check out that Halloween Ends movie review on this channel. If interested in purchasing the latest Adobe Premiere Pro, then you can find a link down below in my video description where you can purchase it. To watch another educational video on this channel, click or tap the video you see right next to me, or to watch my Halloween Ends movie review, click or tap the video right below it. Thank you guys for your time. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Now let's go make a movie.